welcome to my fourth lesson on logarithms. Last time, we derived the product rule for logs, which says the log of a product is the sum of the logs. In this lesson, we'll look at a few other useful rules. The quotient rule says, log of m divided by n equals log m minus log n. The power rule says, log of m to a power r equals the power r times the log of m. The reciprocal rule should look logical. It says log of 1 over n is negative of log n. The next and last one is the change of base formula. It comes in handy in calculus because a special log called the natural log gives the simplest results. I'm including it on this list only because you'll run into it later. Let's play with six examples to familiarize ourselves with these rules. Can we apply a rule to log of 6 times 7? Sure, that's a product. Log of 6 times 7 is log of 6 plus log of 7. Remember to keep the base the same. All the logs in this problem have base 5. Next, what do we have? A sum of logs. That's just going in the other direction. Log 5 plus log 3 is log of 5 times 3. We get log 15. Remember to keep the base the same. All the logs here have base 6. Next, log of 9 over 5. Too easy, right? That's log 9 minus log 5, or base 4. Next one, log 8 minus log 3. Does Miss Jane think we're dummies? No, she doesn't. Practice makes perfect. Log 8 minus log 3 equals log 8 divided by 3, or base 5 in this problem. Next, we have log of 9 raised to the 4th power. Pull the power out in front of the log and we're done. We can go further and make this 8 times log base 2 of 3. Do you see why? This last example is a bit more challenging. Let's try to simplify this as much as possible. We see a minus sign between the logs, but we can't combine those into a fraction yet because of the 3 and the 4 in front of the logs. What can we do? Yes, Chipmunk? We can bring the 3 and the 4 inside the logs. Very good, Chipmunk. The 3 goes inside as a power of 6. The 4 goes inside as a power of 3. Keep going. Don't multiply those out. You'll see why. Now we do have a log minus a log. Combine those. We get log of 6 cubed over 3 to the 4th power. Notice 6 factors into 2's and 3's. We get 2 cubed times 3 cubed. All this is divided by 3 to the 4th. Cancelling the factors of 3, we are left with 
a 3 on the bottom and 8 on the top. Pretty cool, right? In the next lesson, we'll start this list of examples. I hope you're looking forward to solving these. I am.